everyone, welcome back to Decorate with Dana and welcome if you're new here. Uh, today I wanted to share with you how I very simply decorated for Easter. I was going to do a Decorate with Me video, but I don't put a ton of stuff out. So I just thought I would put it out and then just give you, show you the spots that I decorated and um, I thought that would probably be better. So if any of you guys, if you're new here, or people that have been around, they know that I like super simple decorations. I don't like a ton of clutter. It just makes me personally anxious. So I just do really simple decor. So I thought I would share with you what I did. My goal for my home is always just to feel cozy when somebody comes in the door. I want everybody to feel welcome. I don't want people to feel like they can't touch anything or they can't sit down on the couch and put their feet up on the ottoman and just relax. So that is the goal that I always have when I decorate for anything. Um, let me know what you guys think. I think it turned out cute. Like I said, it's not a ton of stuff. And then after Easter's over, a lot of it is my spring decor that I've just added in some Easter things. So after Easter's over, I'll probably take out those Easter things and leave the rest up through spring and maybe even summer, some of it up through summer. So let's get on with the tour and I will chat with you guys at the end. So starting out here in my front foyer, when you come in my front door directly to the right is this wooden frame with the chicken wire that my husband made me. And I moved that floral wreath that I had on the mantle to this. I just like this better. And I like the wreath that I hung on the tobacco basket and the mantle a little better also. So I like that that just adds a little spring touch to that piece. And then over here, just hanging on the door handle for now, is that little DIY bunny that I made. It's a door hanger. Um, I hope to hang it actually on the door. This is a metal door, so I wanna get one of the metal uh, magnetic hooks and I'll hang him on the door. But for now, he's just on the door handle. And then coming over here to my entryway table, I moved this arrangement that I had on my dining room table over here to the front. And in this basket, I got this bowl, this basket bowl from Walmart, and I added in the carrots and the bunnies that I DIY, or not bunnies, the carrots and the eggs that I DIY'd. And then sitting next to it, I just have this little bunny. And then down here, I have just this little, I don't know, wooden bunny that I have sitting here um, on the floor, just as Happy Easter. And then I still have that little glass vase with the eggs and the moss in it. And then I have our my Our Nest pillow and then that Buffalo Check pillow from Walmart. So this is very simply how I decorated the front foyer for Easter. Here's an overview of the family room decorated very minimally. Over here on my blanket ladder, I hung this lavender and I had it on my hutch door, but I love it here on this blanket ladder. So I hung that little lavender hanging there that I got from TJ Maxx. Over here, I just have a Simply Watermelon. Um, that's one of the DH homes from I think you can get them at Home Goods, TJ Maxx, or Marshalls. Um, candles, watermelon, and lemon, I've said before, are two of my favorite scents for spring and summer. And then just have these two candle holders over here with some white candles. Over here on the couch, I have those pillows. They're actually Ralph Lauren. I got them on clearance at TJ Maxx, and I think they were. 15 or $20, I love the colors. So these will probably stay out all summer. And I like how it just ties in different, very subtle colors. And then over here, I have just this little bunny pillow that I got at Target. And then on this end, I have another one of those pillows. And then I have my little bunny lady sitting here. She's got her dress, she's got her little purse and she just hangs out on the sofa. I added that garland that I DIY'd. I can link that video down below if you didn't see it. And then up here, so I added this wreath to my tobacco basket. It's a little bigger and a little fuller. 
So I really like the way that looks and that'll definitely stay up all summer. And I've added these little bunnies. I've had these for years now. I don't even really know where I got them anymore. But I have that one. And then I have this little guy or girl, I don't know. But that's it. That's all I've added to the mantle was the garland and those two bunnies. And then just added that different wreath in. So that's all the decorations that I did for Easter in the family room. So coming into the kitchen, if you didn't see my um, coffee bar decor video, I'll just quickly go over. I have this egg topiary tree that I made in a DIY video and this greenery, this greenery with lavender. I also made that in a DIY video and then my magnolia home and my lavender and blackberry jam, lavender jam and blackberry candle. And then down here, I just added this little bunny to the top of my mug holder and he has some M&M goodies in there. So he's really cute. And then I just have my little lavender plant. I don't think I added too much since that video. Um, down here, I just have um, this sprout watering can, Ray Dunn watering can, and it has some lavender sticking out of it. And then I have that little moss bunny. And then none of this is Easter. On the little towel rack on the side, that lavender towel that I got from Hobby Lobby. Over here on my kitchen table, I still have that same tray with the moss bunny and the apothecary jars with some moss and eggs and the filler in them. So I didn't change that at all. Over here behind my little scale, I just added this cutting board that I found at the Target Dollar Spot. So cute, I think it was $5. And it has the little bunny ears. You know, I'm trying to disguise those jacks a little bit, but it's not so easy, it didn't really cover them, but that's okay, I think that cutting board is so cute. And then I just have that bowl with some of those eggs on top. And then over here at the sink, all I did was just add that milk jug that I got from Tractor Supply and just put some lavender in there. Coming over here, I have this Happy Easter towel that I found from Target. It's so cute. And then up here, again, my favorite candle ever is Sugared Lemon Zest. I have that going on the stove that sits on this pedestal that I got from Target. And then over here in this um, jug that is from the Hearth and Hand Collection, I got the, these flowers. I don't, I don't know what they are, but they're really pretty. They look very realistic. I found them at Hobby Lobby. I didn't do too much over here. I added my little birdhouse with the two birds and I have those eggs that I've had in there for a while. So otherwise I really didn't add too much to this, my favorite shelf from Hobby Lobby. Coming over here to my kitchen island on this little pedestal that I had purchased at Hobby Lobby in the fall. I have this adorable basket, and this is the kind of basket I picture, you know, somebody going out and cutting flowers from the garden and bringing them in. So that's why I thought that my tulip stems looked perfect that I got from the Target Dollar Spot. Really, they are amazing. They are so realistic. And then I put these little white eggs in there to look like I went out to my chicken coop and gathered some eggs, even though I don't have a chicken coop, chicken or eggs, but that's okay, um, I thought that looked really cute there. And that's all I have on my island. I just do super simple. Sorry for the lighting, but coming over to this little section in my dining room, which just is like a little kind of bar area, serving bar area, I have this two-tiered tray that is from the Hearth and Hand Collection at Target. And on top, I just have that little ceramic bunny that ceramic bird, and then down at the bottom, and a greenery, and then down at the bottom, I have that boxwood greenery, a candle, and that other little bunny. 
And then over here in the corner, I just have this little egg tree. I got this years ago, probably at Target, but I'm not even sure. And then in my little Scentsy burner, I have more sugared lemon zest going from Bath & Body Works. So coming over here to the hutch in my dining room, this is probably where I've put more Easter decorations than I have um, anywhere else, I think. Um, so up here at the top of my hutch, I have that Tiffany vase, and I've added in those flower picks that I got from Walmart. And then I have that garland that always stays up there. That's from the Hearth and Hand collection at Target. And then I added in this really pretty little garland that I found at Michael's. It's just very dainty and it adds the little pops of color with the flower, so I love that. And then down here in the hutch, not too much has changed from my Spring Decorate With Me um, that up on this shelf at least. I've added, or I have that little bird's nest with the eggs, some little florals just to add some color. And then I have these two little wicker eggs here, a green and a blue. And then I have my little bunny eating lettuce and another little floral pick. And then down on this shelf, I have my bunny, that uh, my Tiffany bunny, Tiffany Co. bunny, sitting on those plates with the bead garland. I have another little bunny eating some cabbage and then that's a little lantern back there with the little bunnies, the little farmer bunnies. They're, that's really cute. It does light up. I don't have batteries in there right now. And then I have just this little bunny candy dish and it has more of those little wicker eggs in it. And then I have my Ray Dunn floral. Um, we use it for dog treats. And then down here, I added this little bunny bowl and it has some other eggs that I found over at Pier 1 a couple years ago. And then I just have my strawberry and blueberry plate down here. I have another Tiffany vase down there. And then I have this egg that I found over at Walmart and I think the quality is excellent. So that is my hutch for Easter. Over here on my dining room table, if you watched my Easter tablescape, then you've seen this. And if you didn't, I can link that down below how I put this all together. Again, it's extremely simple. I only put four place settings out right now. I don't want to cover up those two little bunnies at the end of this runner that I found at Pier 1. I have my plates that I found at Pier 1. And then I just have some basic white napkins. And then they are sitting on these um, rattan or whatever placemats that I purchased at Target a couple years ago. And then I have my big wooden bowl with some different greeneries and this adorable little brown bunny who's looking up. And these eggs are another favorite find from the Target dollar spot. They're heavy, they're like, one is like wooden looking and the other one are like a light pinkish purple. So this was my very simple table setting for Easter. So the last Easter decoration that I put out in my dining room is on this bookshelf. I guess it's safe to say I probably decorated the dining room more than anywhere for Easter. Up on the top, I have over here this little bunny with these little peach bees, uh, berries on them, berry picks, and they that was from Hobby Lobby probably two years ago. And then um, this egg topiary tree was also from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. I love the browns and the pinks. So I guess it's safe to say I have like a light pink theme kind of going in the dining room. And then this was passed down from my mom, this little train. It is so cute. And some little parts are broken off, which makes me sad. But that's okay. I still put it out every year. He's just a little wooden train and they kind of all link together. So I have that sitting there. And then coming down on this shelf, I have these DIY jars that I made. 
and then this moss bunny, and then behind it I just have that little tobacco basket. And then down here, I have just this picture with some of those florals that I got from tulips that I purchased from Michael's. And then this was also passed down from my mom, this little figurine with the little bunny going down the slide and the one on the swing. I think that's so cute. And then coming over here, I have just my watermelon lemonade candle with some greenery around it in that covered dish. And that is my bookshelf that is in my dining room. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick tour of how I've decorated for Easter. I would love to know what you guys think. Um, I have some DIY, outdoor DIY projects coming up and I will definitely try to get those up this week, at least one up this week. I was just waiting for the snow to melt and it to start getting warm here and it's a little warm. I mean, it's like 45, actually it's really rainy today, but um, I think tomorrow is supposed to be like 65. So that's like literally a heat wave. So I was just waiting for it to get a little warmer to give me that inspiration to do my outdoor DIY decorations. So I'm gonna have that video up this week and let me know if you have any other requests down in the description box of anything that you wanna see. I'm gonna be redoing a bathroom here very soon, just decor wise, not, not gutting it or anything, but decor, I'm gonna be doing that soon. So I have some other decoration or yeah, decorating videos coming up also. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick tour and thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day.